And again, it's great to have you with us on this Sunday morning. As I mentioned earlier, we've got a great show in store for you today. A lot of important things to talk about and some big events happening around the Rio Grande Valley. Big event that's coming up in just a few weeks, July 4th. Of course, a lot of you will be using fireworks. Talk a little bit more about fire safety on the show today. We have from the Edinburgh Fire Department, Captain Sergio Diaz. That's correct. And thank also, you, thank you for having me over. Yeah, it's yeah. great to have you with us. Thank you so much for being here. Um, a lot of people on July 4th like to use fireworks. Yes. Um, there's always the dangers with fireworks. What are some of the things that people should really be concerned about or, or kind of think about before they start lighting well, fireworks? Right off the bat, children are fascinated with fireworks and fire. So mm -hmm. make sure the parents are around. Mm -hmm. uh, supervise. Make sure you have a bucket of water, water source close to you. Again, I can't overstress supervision of the kids. Uh, they don't know how to handle the fireworks, when to get rid of them. They're going to pop in their hand. We have some injuries. Yeah. Second part is it hasn't rained in a while. Right. And the heat, you know, the heat today has been a, a terrible uh, brush. It's mm -hmm. uh, very dry, especially in the afternoon, evening. If uh, something were to catch on fire, it's going to spread. You know, that actually brings up another great point. A lot yeah. of people like to put fireworks into the ground right near grass. Yes. What should they do as an alternative? Put it in a bucket with sand? or Well, they can do is uh, wet the grass mm -hmm. in the area before they start shooting. And again, uh, have a water source with them mm -hmm. in case there's a, their fire starts. And make sure that if something gets, uh, gets out of control, call the fire department right away. Don't hesitate. Don't wait. Every mm -hmm. minute the fire's going to double in size. It could take a house could hurt someone. I know a lot of people too, if, if something like that does happen, a little grass fire, they'll try and put it out themselves, but sometimes it gets bigger, they make it worse. Again, I would call 911, get the fire department en route. If you can put it out, that's great. If you can't, we're going to be there right away. Absolutely. Yes. Now, what about, uh, I know a lot of times people will go to light their fireworks and it doesn't go off the first time. They go back again to try and light it again, and then... No, I would consider it, um, they call those duds, but you don't know if it's still burning inside. It could pop as soon as you touch it. Right. I would just not handle it. I would put some water on it, get away from it. Don't don't use it anymore. Don't no. even try and relight it or yeah, anything. It could still be at the point where it's going to pop, and mm -hmm. you don't know if it's going to pop in your hand or not. That's so. true. Now, after you uh, the firework does go off, you should put it in the bucket of water right away, or what should you do with that to dispose of it? Yeah, I mean, uh, pick up your trash. I know I've seen, we went to the... Uh, January 1st, we were driving around the neighborhoods and people would pop fireworks in the middle of the street and you just see leftover trash in the middle of the street. Like, yeah. That's littering in the first place. And the other one is it could still be on fire. It could blow off into someone's yard. Mm -hmm. Just be considerate of your neighborhood, your yeah. neighbors. Yeah. And then when you're lighting them, um, obviously you want to make sure that what's above you, there isn't like a tree above you or anything like that because those fireworks when they shoot up into the air, that could shoot a spark into the tree and then... Yes, but what it is, is the firework is metal shavings, it's black powder. If it does land on someone's house, if they have wooden shingles or if it finds its way into the attic space for whatever reason, or trees above a house, it could actually catch a house on fire. We don't want that. No, absolutely <laughs> not. Now, what are some of the things that uh, the fire department is concerned about? Because I know you guys uh, probably get a lot of calls. We do. Uh, what are some of the things that you'd like to tell the viewers? So the concerns are neighbors, uh, be neighborly. I know if you're popping fireworks at 3 or 4 in the morning, the neighbors are going to go to work the next day or they got to go to church. Or yeah. Be consider that. The other one is be careful not to get something burnt. Um, Again, if you're going to pop fireworks, supervision of the kids, because we've had incidents where it's a spark or something, someone's eye, someone's hand. Right. We don't need any injuries. Right. Always make sure that the kids don't light the fireworks, that yes. the parents are lighting the fireworks. So that I know of, uh, City of Edinburgh, I'll speak because I work in City of Edinburgh. Yeah. I know other cities have similar ordinances about even possessing fireworks inside the city. Right. But it's kind of like, it's a tradition that's been going on for years and years. Uh, my grandfather used to do it. My mm -hmm. father taught me how to do it. And it's hard to stop each and every person from doing it. Sure. So if you are going to do it, make sure you have supervision of the kids. Do it in a safe manner. Have water source nearby. And again, uh, the most important thing is be considerate of the fire not escaping yeah, away from you and uh, going to your neighbor's house. Mm -hmm. and especially the last complaint I got was that uh, they had an elderly person next door that wanted to get some sleep. And the fireworks were just, they yeah. had the big booms. And yeah. So again, yeah. just be, uh, you know, be friendly <laughs> to your neighbors. neighbors yeah. yeah, absolutely. Again, if you're gonna, uh, if you don't want to pop because you think it's gonna be dangerous, there will be. I know in Edinburgh, for sure. I know about the other cities, but we'll have two events: one on next Friday, mm -hmm. the 30th, and on Saturday. Okay. So if they want to see a professional fireworks display, 
and get it out of your system. You get to enjoy this show instead yeah. of you getting burned or getting dangerous. Exactly, letting yeah. the professionals kind of handle yes. it. So if, what, what, if there's one in your town, visit that one. What about, uh, I know some folks sometimes buy, you know, fireworks that are man-made, that weren't made professionally. Yeah. Um, I know that sometimes they have a bigger boom, a bigger bang. Uh, yes. What kind of advice do you have for someone who's maybe thinking about getting fireworks from not a reputable dealer? I, yeah, I wouldn't. It's not yeah. recommended. Uh, the federal law here, Texas and state law, if you want to look it up, the Texas Fire Marshal's uh, website. Mm -hmm. It talks about licensing, who can sell fireworks, what type of fireworks, and they should have placard on them. Right. They have a warning that it was a uh, what type or how big it can be. You know, right. It's uh, 1.4 is the maximum you can go. Mm -hmm. for commercial if you're a professional fireworks display you can buy a bigger uh, right. bigger boom but you're a professional and you know and you have insurance so those people that are popping fireworks in our city have liability coverage for if something were to happen so if you if you are buying fireworks you see something that says 1.5 or more yes. stay away from that anything yes. that's 1.4 or less and, and again if they need more information the state of texas fire marshal's office uh, they can call them also what about concerns with some people uh, maybe shooting guns into the air? No, no guns. And we've seen it before. I, I know that the representative from here got uh, a yeah. bullet hit his head last uh, January 1st. Right. So it could happen that you're just in your home enjoying your evening and a bullet comes through the ceiling and into your one of your yeah. family members or yourself. Mm -hmm. So at no point should you be shooting firearm up in the air right. inside the city limits if you're not supposed to be doing it. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, folks, if you're just doing, joining us right now on this Sunday morning, we're talking with uh, Captain Diaz with the Edinburgh Fire Department about fireworks safety. Of course, July 4th is coming up. Uh, real quickly, sir, for the folks who are just tuning in right now, what are some of the more important things that we want to focus on with fireworks safety? Important things that it's only available two weeks before the event. So it's a July 4th is the event, so that midnight they cannot sell fireworks. Okay. Um, just be careful when you do buy them. If you're going to take them to the city, be aware that you, you're violating city code. Mm -hmm. So they might get stopped or your neighbors could call the police on you or the fire department on you and complain about it. Absolutely. Uh, any more uh, information so or where can people get some more information? Safety. You can call our office and we'll be glad to answer any questions or refer them to the right agency. It's 383-7691. Mm -hmm. sounds, sounds good. Captain Diaz, thank you so much right. for coming on and sharing this important information. Folks, again, we posted that information there for you if you'd like to learn a little bit more about uh, fireworks safety. Of course, July 4th coming up. Folks, don't go anywhere on this Sunday morning. When we come back, we're talking to the folks from the Edinburgh Chamber of Commerce about their annual Texas Cook'em event. Don't go anywhere.